Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here. And what a sad and terrible loss this turned out to be for the movie industry and film critics around the world. Because one of our legendary famous movie critics, Roger Ebert, had just passed away at the age of 70. Yeah, this was a truly big loss for one of the biggest film critics of the Chicagoland area down at Chicago, right there at Chicago Sun-Times. He was truly, truly the kind of movie critic that you would definitely trust no matter what movie it is or how it does, but it does show exactly the passion of what movies are all about what movie you really love or hate. He was always there with us along with Gene Siskel, a film critic from Chicago Tribune. And they always been around to critique any type of movie that they would agree or disagree or even agree of their own. And they do a lot of fights together, nevertheless. Yeah. But they, they were always been a great team as movie critics and the fact that they love, they have great chemistry even though they do hate each other at times, but deep down of them, they're best friends. I'll tell you this though, I used to watch this show sometimes during the day whenever they come on, especially if it's a good movie that I really love. Or if it had to be a bad movie that I don't, and that I really don't enjoy, I always listen to them just to see. They're always there to talk about their thoughts, their opinions, and anything they know, and in the industry. No matter what, they were always there. They've been around for generations, ever since they started out as film critics from the local newspapers. I know Roger Ebert started out as a screenplay writer for these uh, Russ Meyer films. And I also know that he was also a, a true film critic you know, to, to discuss almost every movie out there that he really knows about. He also loves to do a lot of commentaries on all these classic films that we often see such as Casablanca, uh, Citizen Kane, which happens to be his favorite of all, and so on. I always do enjoy his criticism a lot when it comes to movies. Even if I do disagree or agree, I really do trust him, along with Gene Siskel as well. In fact, in my opinion, they were a great team, and I loved them. But after Gene Siskel passed away, things seems to go um, really rough for Roger Ebert because he was struggling some time to find another co-host to take over after his um, after his passing because he wanted the show to go on as the years follow just by by reviewing more current movies with guest hosts that ranges from various movie critics to the TV reporters from other stations and networks. That is until they pick Richard Roper, a columnist from the Chicago Sun-Times, the same newspaper company that Roger works as a film critic. He had made some guest appearances on TV shows along with Gene Siskel. They said to go on in different ways at, at points. Yeah, they were fun. Now, I know Richard Roper, in my opinion, was not the best choice as a replacement, but nevertheless, when Roger was there, at least he was still reviewing movies. Now, that is until he was diagnosed with full white cancer, and he's been suffering ever since until by having trouble speaking. Um, which if, which really ex affected his jaw really bad that he decided that he 
that the only way he can communicate was a laptop computer and and a voice command software which he can actually communicate just by typing it was a perfect thing for him to finally continue writing his own movie reviews on his website and so far he's been doing them all the way up until the final moments which is really sad no matter what movies that he's reviewing as of today he'll always be with us no matter what in fact he's probably reviewing and typing all of these new movies no matter which one up in the sky yes sir I bet he's giving two thumbs up or down way up high anyway rest in peace my friend I hated this movie hated 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 this movie hated it hated every simpering stupid vacant audience insulting moment of it